In this video, we'll level up your gameplay on your Nintendo Switch through the power of emulation. I'm putting you in the captain's chair so you can start playing your Nintendo Switch games on your Windows-based PC. You'll get step-by-step -step instructions for installing and setting up the Yuzu emulator for Nintendo Switch. You'll also learn how to back up your cartridge games for use in the emulator, and even connect your real Joy-Cons in Windows. And we're starting now. This video guide is largely based on the Yuzu Quick Start Guide. Yuzu is the emulator we'll be using to play the Switch games on Windows. You'll need to be familiar with how to jailbreak a Nintendo Switch, and that's not something that I can cover on YouTube due to restrictions from Nintendo, and I understand and respect them. One of the remarkable things about the Yuzu emulator is the limited set of hardware requirements it has in order for the games to run well. For example, as shown here in the Quick Start Guide, it only requires an i5 chip or a Ryzen 3 chip, and for graphics cards, an NVIDIA GeForce 1030 or an AMD R7 240 are all you need to get this project up and running. I used an i7 with an NVIDIA 1050 Ti in the gameplay you saw earlier, and the results are quite impressive. Be sure to format the microSD card that you use in your Switch through its format tool. It will format it properly in XFAT and make sure that everything is set up and ready to go on your microSD card that you'll be using for this process and you probably want a card of at least 32 gigabytes or larger. The Yuzu emulator requires two very specific files to work. One is called prod.keys and the other is called title.keys. Online searching with due diligence may very well provide you the information you're looking for, but if you have an unpatched switch, you can actually pull your own title and prod keys directly off your switch. Hey, you own them after all. The first step in pulling your prod and title keys from your switch is to run Hecate. Tap on Payloads from the main menu, and then in the list of choices, tap on Lockpick RCM.bin to launch it. Do you see how the white highlight bar is already on Dump from Sysnan? Just press the power button on the top of your switch to start the process. When the process is complete, you can press any button on the switch to go back to the main menu. From here, use the volume up and down buttons on the top of the switch to navigate to Payloads and select it with the power button. Then navigate down to Reboot Payload.bin and select it with power. And you'll be back at the Hecate main menu. Some of the games you want to play might require system update firmware from your console. Go back to Payloads and this time launch the Tegra Explorer.bin file. Using the volume up and down buttons, navigate that highlight down in the menu list until you get to Dump Firmware and then select Dump Firmware with the power button. This takes several minutes in real time, just be patient and let it do its thing. When the process is finished, press any button on the switch to continue, then use the volume up and down buttons to navigate down to reboot to bootloader slash update.bin and select it with power. And again, you'll be back at the Hecate main menu. To back up the switch cartridges you own, first launch into Atmosphere. Insert the cartridge of your choice into your switch, in this case, New Super Lucky's Tail. You'll need to do what's called a title takeover. Hold the right one button, the right shift button, not the trigger on your right Joy-Con, and then select the game with A. And when prompted, navigate up to Start Software and select it with the A button. And select the Me of your choice. This gives you proper access to your homebrew applications on your Switch. Use the D-pad buttons or the left analog stick on the left Joy-Con to navigate to NX Dump Tool. Then select NX Dump Tool with the A button to launch it. The highlight should already be set to Dump Game Card Content, so you can just press the A button to continue. The software will read the game card that you have inside your Switch and identify it for you. Then in the list of menu choices, make sure the highlight is set to NX Card Image XCI Dump and select it with the A button. Be aware that some of these games are kind of large and may take quite a bit of time for the dump process to complete. Just be patient and let NX Dump Tool do its magic. When the process is complete, you can press any button to continue. Then just press the B button to go back to the main menu of NX Dump Tool. Then you can press the home button on the bottom of the right Joy-Con to go back to the Switch main menu. Cool, you're done grabbing stuff off of your Switch. At this point, you can power off your Nintendo Switch, remove the micro SD card, and put it into your PC. And if you're getting value from this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button while you're here. The Yuzu emulator download page is linked in the description below. The first thing that you need to download from it is the official Microsoft Visual C++ latest version. You can click here on the Yuzu download page to get it. 
And once you have it downloaded, you can scroll down on this exact same page to get to the download for Yuzu. Scroll down until you see the download button in the center of the page, and then click to download the Yuzu emulator. In your downloads folder, you'll see the Visual C++ installer and the Yuzu installer. Go ahead and run the Visual C++ installer first. Nothing fancy here, just the usual I agree, click install, click yes, wait for the process to complete, close it out, and delete the installer file when you're done. Double click the Yuzu installer file to launch it. You can either become a Patreon of theirs and get early access to their software, or just select the normal install processes in order to get the most up-to-date public release version of the software. Once it's done, you can exit out of the installer, and you can delete both the installer file and the log moving forward to get them out of your downloads folder. You won't need them anymore. You can just use a regular old Xbox or other Windows compatible controller with Yuzu, but if you want the full Switch controller experience, including motion control, you want better joy. It's linked in the description below and it's on the GitHub. Scroll down on the page until you see the better joy file here and click on it. In the downloads folder, extract the zip file that you just downloaded containing the better joy files in it. Then you can delete the zip file to eliminate clutter out of your downloads folder. In the search bar in the bottom left corner of Windows, type in the word Bluetooth. Click on Bluetooth in the top left corner, the one with the blue highlight on it, and this will open up the Bluetooth pairing options menu. At the top center, click on add Bluetooth or other device. Now grab your left Joy-Con and push the button in the center of the Joy-Con rail to activate Bluetooth pairing. You'll see the light scroll up and down on the Joy-Con in the center rail area. Then click add Bluetooth and you should see the Joy-Con pop up in your list of choices. Click the listing for the Joy-Con with the L in parenthesis, and this should pair your left Joy-Con to your Windows PC. Once it's complete, you'll see a message that your device is ready to go, and you should see a solid single light on the center inside area of the Joy-Con. It's the same process to pair the right Joy-Con. Click plus, click add a Bluetooth or other, click Bluetooth, press and hold the center button in the rail until you see the lights going up and down, click on Joy-Con right, you'll get a device message that everything's ready to go, once everything's confirmed, click on Done, and you will have paired both the Joy-Cons. In your Downloads folder, go into that Better Joy folder that you uncompressed. Go into the Drivers folder, and run the executable for Video Game Emulator Bus. This emulates a number of different controllers that are well-known video game console controllers in Windows. Run the installer if it's not already on your system with the usual I agrees, installs, and done. All right, I wanna slow the roll for just a minute here. What you actually have are two separate controllers paired to your Windows machine, a left Joy-Con and a right Joy-Con. We've gotta pair them together so they act as one single controller. Double click on the HID Guardian folder right from where you are. You'll see a file that says HID Installer Run as Administrator. Right click on the file and select Run as Administrator and this batch file will take care of letting Windows know that these two separate Joy-Cons are actually one single controller together to serve you in the emulator. In the pop-up that appears, click on the install button. The batch file will take care of its processes, which should only take a moment, and once you're done, you can press any button to close out the batch file setup process. Back in the Better Joy folder in the download section, double click on Better Joy to run it for the first time. As long as your two Joy-Cons show up in green in Better Joy, everything's configured correctly and you're good to go. If you want to look at some advanced options, you can click on the arrow that expands out the side cart here so that you can consider some advanced options, but they are not necessary. And as long as you've got the green icons showing for your Joy-Cons, everything's good to go. Just leave this open and push it off to the side so that the Yuzu emulator can see it. All right, with the prep work done, let's go ahead and launch Yuzu for the first time. Come down to the start button for Windows and scroll down to the bottom for the Y section to find Yuzu. But just make sure you launch Yuzu as there's also a Yuzu maintenance tool. Click on Yuzu and the emulator will launch for the first time. It will launch and default into light mode, but I have it set to dark mode here to make things easier to read. You'll see a pop-up message that components are missing. That's not a problem. Just click on the OK button in the bottom right corner because we're about to fix that. The components that Yuzu is missing are the prog.keys and title.keys files you made earlier. Go up to File in the top left corner and click on it. Then come down to Open Yuzu Folder and click. This opens the Yuzu main folder and you'll see a folder inside of it called Keys. That's where those keys are going to go. Navigate to the SD card you removed from your Switch and put into your PC. Go into the Switch folder on the SD card and you will find prog.keys and title.keys right here. 
Go ahead and copy both of these files, then navigate back to that Yuzu folder that you opened up through the emulator, go into the keys folder, and then paste these two key files directly into that folder. Remember downloading your system firmware updates earlier? Let's grab them now. Go to your memory card and double click into the Tegra Explorer folder. Inside here, you'll see one that says firmware, double click. Inside the firmware folder, you'll see a folder with a version number and a date on it. Right click on this folder and copy it. Then go back to the Yuzu folder and go into the following path. NAND, System, Contents, and Register. Then right click and paste the folder with the firmware contents that you copied right here. Unless you'd like for games to load really, really slow, you want to get it off the micro SD card that was in your Switch. Navigate to the micro SD card so you can go to the directory where that game is located. And your game file is located in the Switch folder, then the NX Dump Tool folder, and the XCI folder. And in this case, it's New Super Lucky's Tale. Right click and copy, and then decide where you want your games to live on your hard drive. I don't have any music stored on this machine, so I just use the music folder as a place to store games for demonstrating for these YouTube videos. So I'm going to navigate to the music folder and paste this game here. Now that everything's shuffled around, close out File Explorer and go back to Yuzu. In the top left menu, select Emulation and Configure. In the list of configuration choices on the left side, click on Controller. Under the Player 1 tab, click on the where it says Controller, probably Pro Controller first, and then scroll down to Dual Joy-Cons and select it. Directly to the right of this where it says Keyboard Mouse, this is assigning the actual motion controls. Click it and select Nintendo Dual Joy-Cons again. There's one more step after you pick Dual Joy-Cons here that you need to follow in order for them to work correctly for the motion controls. Underneath the Joy-Con images, you'll see Controller 1 and Controller 2 and Motion underneath them. Click Motion on the left under controller number 1 and shake that controller, then under number 2 and shake that controller too. And when you're done, come down to the bottom and click on OK. Yuzu is made up of all kind of magic and genius, but it doesn't know where your games are until you tell it. Double click the box in the center of the screen to pull up the location finder for where your games are located. In this case, they're in the music folder. Wherever it is that your games live on your machine, navigate to that folder and select the folder. You don't have to pick any of the games in it, just the folder itself. Click select folder and any games you have in the folder will display in the Yuzu interface. And now it's time to party. Double click on the game that you want to play to launch it. And after a short load time, you'll be up and running with full Switch emulation with Joy-Con motion control support. But why stop there when there's so much more amazing emulation you can do with your PC? Check out the video shown on screen on desktop and linked in the pinned comment and description below for more great emulation guides.